I know this has been kind of a boring video. I forgot to spice it up a little bit. We're going to do one more thing before we go. RGB strips. works with the power off or not so let's see if this usb port has power when we're off no cool that would be a surprise then you ready here we go that actually worked out pretty well Super sweet. I mean, obviously we're gonna have a, a screen here when we're done, but that's still pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, that's going to wrap it up for this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Get subscribed. Um, lots of cool stuff on the way. Uh, I've got to get this screen put in still. Uh, we're going to be figuring out how we're getting this USB hub inside. Not usually a big deal, but it is powered. So we're going to have to get some kind of power split to power it. So that could get annoying. I've also got to get the USB ports. The USB ports here and the um, Ethernet jack. Um, if I can figure out how to make these buttons work, we might make, let, make these buttons control the RGB. Still working on how to do that. I'm not 100% sure how, what these buttons are. If these are just soft touch faces, then that won't work. If they're actually wired to something, then I can wire them to the buttons on the switcher over there. So that's a thing we can do too. That's a maybe. I'm kind of fine with just the cycling RGB. Um, so, USB Ethernet and USB Hub are the next small things to do. And then we've got to figure out the screen. I'm going to be reloading the part for the screen pretty soon. Uh, so, as soon as that comes in, we'll be wiring the screen up, getting that mounted up. Um, I'm actually super happy with how well this Loctite stuff is holding these mounts in. Uh, I've been using that for a few different things since we started this project, and it's fantastic. And we may see if it's strong enough to hold the screen in. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's better than hot glue because it's removable, but it's not as strong. I don't know. Also, I found this old G3 keyboard. So we have a, a keyboard to match our Mac. Um, I haven't found a puck mouse yet. I'm probably going to find a puck mouse and we might mod it into a three button mouse like it's supposed to be, or at least two button. Um, but I think it'd be cool.
cool to have the putt mouse with this thing, so. Uh, meh, we'll see. It's gonna cost money. I don't like spending money, because I'm cheap. But anyway, that's it for now. Hit like, subscribe.